<laughs> what's up? What's up? No. Welcome to episode twenty of the Startup X podcast, presented by Two Sick TV. Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> I am your host, Six Sensei. Joining me really today. Really not happening. Fuck that. <laughs> Joining me today. I don't want. I don't want. <laughs> Sick Lawless. What's up? Oh, man. And J Rod. What's going on? And, uh. <laughs> oh, man. You don't want to? I mean, I just wind up trolling myself for every <laughs> fucking podcast. <laughs> It's basically, I wait for you to do something stupid, and then I start up the show. I mean, it's... They tune in for you, though, like, man. Get the entertainment. I mean, it's a given. Like, I'm going to do something stupid. Get a couple stupid. beers in this guy. Give me a couple beers and five minutes of your time, stupid. and I will do something stupid. <laughs> <sighs> nice Rob impression, by the way. Yeah. Nice, nice Six Psycho impression. I was impersonating Six Psycho, if you didn't know. I don't know, was that episode 15? He started... <laughs> Yeah, because last episode he raped a horse. He raped, he raped me that horse. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so anyway, getting into episode 20. Look, guys, if you want to see your gameplay right here on 2 Sick TV in the Startup X Gaming News Podcast, all you got to do is save it to your vault, either console, and I will go grab it. Just label it Startup X and send me a tweet at 2 Sick TV or hit me up 2 Sick TV at gmail.com and I will go grab it and we will put it right here in the uh, Startup X show. And uh, you can also follow Two Sick TV or Sick Lawless. Sick underscore Lawless. You went back to the underscore. Went back to the underscore. <laughs> yes. Sick underscore Lawless. And you ain't on Twitter. He's nah, too cool. I don't mess with that shit. He's too cool for Twitter. Well, that's because he doesn't have a smartphone. That's right, huh? That's right. Because my phone's paid for by the company. <laughs> <That> shit's free. <laughs> uh, so anyway, last week we talked about the rumor, right, that at this year's E3, 2012. Um, there would be the PS4 and the new Xbox. I really pray to God they're not going to call it the Xbox 720. Uh, but the new Xbox will both be revealed in some fashion um, at this year's E3. And uh, like I said last week, that was a rumor. And now, allegedly, I'm going to say allegedly, it is being debunked by Sony saying there's no PS4 at E3 this year. It's kind of disconcerting. I, I was really hoping for it. And... Um, I mean, what you know? What are your thoughts? I, I think it's still going to happen. To be honest know. with you. Like, I, I feel if whoever goes first on the keynote, um, <laughs> if they don't do it, the second one's not going to do it. But if they do it, then the other one's going to have to do it. I I, I definitely agree with you. I, I think that uh, Sony already come out and said that they they think it would be not advantageous to be behind this time. Yeah. They know how much they lost in the race in the console race. Uh, by being a year behind last time. So they got to know that it's just going to be stupid if they do it again. Yeah, you I mean, know? you know, if they came out at the same time as the 360 with a decent price, yeah, who yeah, knows definitely. where we'd be yeah, right 600 now. 600 you know? bucks. With the, so. Yeah, if they would have come out earlier or at the same time, I think even at the same price, even at the same price that they I were at, still wouldn't have bought with the free, one. With the, <laughs> with the free <laughs> online, though, that could have no, been that... So that balance six hundred bucks. That price, yeah, way, was way too much. Yeah, six hundred. I forgot it was six bills. Good yeah. God, six hundred dollars, Sony. What the fuck were you thinking? Six hundred bucks. I mean, it's a powerful piece of equipment for two thousand six, but. Whew, yep. Very very shitty, but. Also, our good buddy Michael Michael Pactor. Who? <laughs> <laughs> he also says that is not likely. Not Michael Pactor is an industry analyst. That this is his job. He analyzes all of gaming. You know everything, and, and usually he's right to be honest with you. And he says it's not probable that the PlayStation Four will be shown at E3. I'm still going to say it is. I'm going to still going to say on record that it is going to be shown at E3. I think it's not going to be shown. You may not even see a picture of it, but I think that they're going to have their little conference. He's going to turn around to walk off the stage, and he's just going to turn back and go, "Oh yeah, we're working on a PS4 for next year." I just think it's going to come out. I think the whole reason they're debunking this is mm-hmm. because it can still be a big surprise and people can still be talking about Sony when well, it's said and done. Yeah, I mean, like, what a company's going to do? They're like, oh, we hear a rumor that this is going to happen six months from now, you know? Oh, yeah, that's exactly what's going <laughs> to yeah. happen. I mean, they're trying to keep it under wraps. Why yeah. would they Why would they just say, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, absolutely. Hope they, they fix just... some stuff if it does come out. Right Cross well, game chat. Yeah, well, like that. that that leads us to our email of the week. Jimmy writes in, says, What changes would you like to see 
and the next gen consoles. And if you want to join the conversation, all you got to do is write in two sick TV at gmail.com. Send us your questions, your concerns, your thoughts, anything. We'll read them right here on two sick TV. You can join the conversation. And uh, just like Jimmy says, you know, what did you like to see in the next consoles? Would you say cross game chat on cross the PlayStation? Game chat right? Plastic, pl- uh, PlayStation. It's got to happen, right? The Vita's got it. So that already shows that Sony Sony knows that it's a valuable, you know, tool to have in your console. I guess you could say. Yep. Uh, what else would you like to see? You got any? You got? Mm-hmm. You got anything? What I want to see, I want to see the option to get my multiplayer separate from these shitty uh, campaign experiences. I want to have the option to download just the multiplayer straight to my console. <laughs> so you look at the disc. And, I, and 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 having to deal with the oh, that's a software experience. Yeah, yeah. 30, but I want these 60, consoles yeah. to make that push towards towards downloadable content. That's pretty much all we play is multiplayer. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all yeah. I play. Like, I haven't touched Modern Warfare. Give me the yeah. option to pay like say half the price or, or you know a third less just for the multiplayer because that's the main focus and and me not have to deal with the disc and go to the store and get all that extra crap you know that I'm not even going to touch to download it. Yeah, that'd be cool to download the yeah. shit. Yeah, I, I'm down with that. I think I'd like to see that. Um, some other things I'd like to see. First of all, obviously, Xbox is going to have to go with a bigger medium. Um, I don't think they're going to go Blu-ray. I just know better, right? That, that, that would be... Microsoft's not going to do it. <laughs> they're not going to go Blu-ray. But they are going to have to come up with something because this next generation console is going to have to have physical media. Um, we talked about it in the podcast several, several episodes ago. But believe it or not, uh, and that was when I looked it up, you know, probably four or five months ago, um, less than 10% of the entire population is, or I'm sorry, less than 10% of the consoles out there today are connected to the internet. So obviously DLC, downloadable games, is not ready. And I mean, the infrastructure of our internet, especially here in the States, just can't handle that much downloading at one time. No, it's it's slowly, slowly We're getting there, slowly. Getting there. But um, no. Uh, the infrastructure can't handle that kind of download. <laughs> like unless they come out with this groundbreaking compression technology, which supposedly they're working on, um, they're gonna have to go Blu-ray. There's no other option. If they ship that ship with a DVD player in it, I mean that's just that's just gonna look very bad on that part. You yeah, know? DVDs they're still done. gonna be behind. Yeah, the games are they still gonna. They can't do it. No, the no, games are still gonna be behind. You know. Next console, we don't want to see multiple disc anything. <laughs> no. you know, nothing, nothing of the sort. You I know? mean, Sony was ahead of their time on that, honestly. And, you know, kudos to them for that because that was good call. You know, they kicked HD DVDs ass. Mm. And, uh, I mean, it, it's still, still a selling point. And just the fact that the games are getting bigger, they're reaching those capacities, 35, 40 gigabytes, and they're fitting on one disc still. You know, yeah. and then, like I said, they were way, they were, well, I don't know about way ahead of their time, but they were on point they, they in, were in hitting that, for the what games. they talked about, that 10 year life yeah. cycle with the console, which is one of those things that kind of draws my earlier prediction back in that, you know, they still might want to try to hit that 10 year prediction or that 10 year life cycle, yeah. but they don't still don't want to be possible. behind. No. I mean, Microsoft is is pushing the limits on their console right now. You know, they're yeah, going to they have to come out with something new. Yeah. You know, so Sony's going to have to scrap that 10-year plan and, and you know, keep up in the race. So. Also going to have to increase their bandwidth on the games, too. The bandwidth? Console. So you're having some issues right now, right? You just got 100 meg internet. Yeah. You test it on PC. And what's it say? Your speed test? It's reading over 70 on the PC. 70 meg internet. Put in the PlayStation, it's 15. 15. And I just did the same, I did the same kind of test just to verify what he was talking about. Now, on the PC, I was running, uh, I have 25 up, uh, or 25 down, 3 up. And I tested, what was it, 23 and 3, right? Mm. I got to the PlayStation, I tested 7 and 2. Yeah, so that they're they're like limited. Something's not right with that. I don't think you no, know. So they can fix some of the networking. Let's yeah. just say some of those connections and things like that. Because I mean, you know, especially today, multiplayers are huge, huge. And especially I mean, we want Call those connections. Duty, it matters. You know? Yeah, well, it matters <laughs> big time in COD. Yeah. But uh, I mean, I don't know. There's tons of different things I would like to see, especially software side. I, I really don't want to see too much of this exclusive thing. I don't want to see Activision paying out of the ass for these DLC packs to only come on Xbox early. I don't even like that. If it was coming on PlayStation, which is where I play mostly, 
Um, I wouldn't like that either because I want everybody to have the same experience. I want everybody to be able to, you know, enjoy what they want where they want at the same time, you know, as anyone else. And I would love to see cross-platform multiplayer come yeah, next round. that would be awesome, like cross-platform multiplayer. But as far as, as far as like the exclusive or the early access to DLC, dude, I'm sorry. But if I was going out to buy a console today, if I didn't own my 360 or my PlayStation 3 and I walked out to buy one, I'm not going to buy the Xbox <clears> just because I get... DLC a month early. That's well, not that big of a deal. Like you know, I don't think they're selling Xboxes with that. No, but it's but if you a, have one of the consoles or the other, if you have both consoles, if you have both consoles, you're like I'm gonna get it on the Xbox first. That'll because, sell or, that. Yeah, it, that'll that'll that's the selling point that they're going for. Yeah, like, and if you're going out and you you're one of those guys who go, all right, I'm only gonna play Call of Duty. What console do I get for Call of Duty? Everybody's gonna tell you Xbox because yeah. you get the DLC earlier, you get all of that stuff earlier, but um. You know, speaking of the DLC, Modern Warfare 3 is finally coming out with their DLC coming up. Two weeks. Two weeks. I think it's two weeks. Two maps. Two maps. What was it Liberation and what's the other one? Something in Italy. Italian map. The Italian map. Piazza. Liberation is Piazza. 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 Yeah. Liberation and Piazza. Liberation reminds me what they talk about is some COD 4 maps and maybe some of the long line of sight, um, like Wasteland kind of thing. Basically a sniper map. But here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, sniper map. And Piazza's a lot like bootleg, if I, if I had to make an assumption, because it's a lot like bootleg, but with verticality. Like, if you cross mission with bootleg, you're probably going to get Piazza, based off of what they're telling us now. Close quarters combat with verticality on one side is kind of going to be one of those things. But um, they're, they're releasing only two maps. And I'm hoping it's like two maps a month. What they said for the next, what, nine months? They're calling it the get... season of DLC. Yeah. So it's a nine month season. It's a nine month season. You're supposed to get DLC every month. Every month. But they're not, you know, specifying on what type of DLC, how much DLC. So two maps this month, and of course, I mean, I say of course, but this is all speculation. Next month, the PlayStation should get the, you know, it's always going to be a month behind. That's what it's always has been. But what sucks is like, what if they jip us one month and they're like, here's the DLC for this month, and it's a game type. And it sucks. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a game type, and it sucks. Or it could be, um, it could be more. They were talking about single player. Yeah. They were talking yeah. about adding yeah. on to like, the single that's player the worst story. Of all, right there. Like, I haven't even played on to the single player. Are you kidding me? <laughs> add on to the single. We don't give a shit about the single yeah. player. I, I mean, I don't really give a shit about spec ops. They're talking about adding spec ops missions, and man, motherfucker, give me some maps. Yeah. I want maps. I want a ton of maps. I want. I want to see guns. I want to see game pl- uh, game modes, like good game modes. Drop Zone, thank you. Thank yes. you, Infinity War. Drop Zone War. is fucking cool. Thumbs up for Drop Zone. I'm not the kind of guy who's all about my kill streaks and shit. If you're the kind of person who loves fast-paced gameplay and, you know, you just love in-your-face action, you want a good place to maybe mess around with your shotguns and shit, Drop Zone is yeah. the shit. I yeah. love it, man. Drop Zone, you can run a shotgun on damn near any map and, and do well with it. Yeah. Kill Confirm is good, too. Kill Confirmed is another great game type that they brought in. And, I mean, I just hope they keep bringing good stuff and not nonsense, like additions to the single player. I really don't want to see that. I don't want to see that at all. Future reference, though, they need to work on their domination maps, though. Domination This is Infinity War domination. Yeah, Infinity War domination. Brace yourself. You know, the end of this year, we should see Black Ops 2. It's funny, dude. I like, cannot wait to play Domination. I know. That, like, man. We're gonna, we're gonna we're back on the next Treyarch game, it's gonna be like Domination. Treyarch all Domination over again. is great. <laughs> great. I mean, the the spawns are so predictable, so exceptionally, you know, well balanced. Ma- I mean, uh, uh, this I can't talk enough about Treyarch yeah. Domination. But anyway, um, there- speaking of the Modern Warfare D- DLC and the Elite. Um, iPhone just released their Elite app. I don't have an iPhone. I got the Android. I gotta wait till January seventeenth. If you got Android, January seventeenth, you can look forward to the iPhone app. But if if Call of Duty Elite has told us anything, you might be waiting a little longer because it's it, like the whole thing's just been a wait. But the iPhone app is out. What do you think, buddy? You got the iPhone? I think it's okay. Um, it's probably a third of the features that Elite actually offers, like the, free like the features. Website? Yeah, like the website. Mm, um, that sucks. Yeah, you can't really see too much. You can't see too much of your friend's shit. You can't see all your weapon breakdowns and all that shit. And you couldn't see my accuracy. No, I you can't. You couldn't I see the kills can, with a no, rifle. Can't see your accuracy. Can't oh. see your kills with different weapons. You know, it's it's very limited. Um, hopefully, this is just what they were trying to, you know, Get push out, out to just to up. shut people up. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, I, you know, definitely, I definitely see them updating the fuck out of this app. But I hope so. I, I mean, mean, it's okay. It's free. You know, you don't have to pay for it. You can still change your classes like they promised you. You know, you could sit there on the phone at work. That's you cool. know, create a whole like new that. class, send it to your console, get home, accept the changes, and it's there, you know? I, I mean, like which that. Is, yeah, because, which is pretty Because you can cool. sit there and mull it over, yeah. really really get into it, and think about, like, what's going to work here, and why, and where, and set up classes for maps, or mm. specialist bonuses. And, yeah. You know, you can really think about it. And, uh, you know, in between maps, and you don't want to sit there on the console. You want to play. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. anywhere yeah. else, you want to... Especially, like, every time it changes, you know, from, like, the lobby to the pregame lobby or whatever, you, you know. You got a minute. Yeah. You get that class done, get in a minute. Yeah. And then, like, when it changes in between those lobbies, it's like, you know, it's like if you start on it and then and say you go into the pregame lobby, it just backs you right out. You got to start all over. Like, that sucks, you know. But, yeah, yeah. just do it on your phone, bro. You can do it on your phone in between matches. And just send it there. In between, man. Yeah. Shut up. Dude, you did it? Well, no, I'm just saying. I don't, know like, if it'll be, I don't know if it'll propagate that fast. It will. Really? Like, it'll send the prompt, like, as soon as you're in the lobby. Sure. Like, back into the, the sure. lobby, it'll send the multiplayer lobby, it'll send the prompt. Oh, you know what I forgot? I wanted to ask everybody, hit us in the comment section below and tell us what you want to see change in the next consoles. What do you, what you know, what didn't we say that you want to see change in the next set of consoles? But um, the last piece of news for today is um, Connect is launching for the PC, Windows 8 integration. Um, uh, Which, if I, I'm not mistaken, like, the, the that, Connect like, on PC started as just a mod, right? Yeah, it kind of started as a mod. I, I don't doubt that they worked it into it. It is Microsoft. But, I mean, you know, if you got a, a whole media PC and stuff like that, like, you want to control your shit all, what a, what a minority report yeah. like... Like, that could be cool. But one of the cool things that I really saw, and I'm about to have a baby, so this, you know, these two got kids. So this is really cool. Um, you know, when you're watching TV or something, there's interactive television. Um, and I know everybody's pretty much seen a kid show, Door the Explorer, Handy Manny, where they go, you know, what is, you know, they ask questions. Yeah. And the kids are supposed to answer, but there's no actual interaction. Yeah. Well, interactive television, they actually interact. They'll throw something at the TV or they'll call out. You know, it's got a bunch of microphones. They'll call out the answer, and it'll know if they're right or wrong. So, I mean, that is really, really cool. That's like next-level, you know, teaching on these little shows that are already trying to teach them something. Yeah. But they can just school. sit there and watch it. Screw school. Shut Screw up. school. All our kids are just going to play video games. <laughs> yes. Video games for the win. <laughs> Next gen. Next gen. <laughs> I mean, I just think that's really cool. I mean, you know, technology brings us brings us pretty far. I yeah. don't think it's ever really held us back, ever. No. That's why I love tech so much, dude. I no, love it. I, I, yeah, I think Connect on the PC is probably going to be pretty effing cool. Like, that would be awesome if, like, I could integrate that into, like, Photoshop or Cinema 4D and sit there and, like, spin shit around and fucking do shit with brushes or whatever. Oh, you but, know what we talked about yesterday about the next-gen consoles? You know, it's just, just it's all coming to fruition now. Um, we talked about a console being built in to your TV. Yeah. That would be cool. That Sony would be makes cool. TVs. Sony makes consoles. Put the console in the television and sell it to me. What do you think about that? Would that Price be cool? going to be stupid, but... I don't think it will. I don't think... I, think, no. I think buying that bundle, buying that package would be cool. I mean, they'll make... I mean, it'll be a console unit, right? That they'll build TVs and they'll all hold... The, the, not not an individual unit, but it'll mm. all have a space in there for the console to sit. So they'll build 32, 42, all the different consoles, and it'll fit in. It'll be all one unit. Yeah, because, I mean, Xbox is, or Microsoft's adding in, you know, television and all that shit, like basically a cable program to their to their online service, you know? Think DVR. About that. Yeah, DVR controls. and all that shit. Think about that being, like, built into your TV. We'll be a way for Sony you know? to kind of take back over the TV industry. Though. I mean, the oh. Sharps, but... Getting all of them, so, if so, they do so, that, Samsung, yeah. you know, they start offering TV services. All they're going to need to do, Microsoft and Sony, is step into the the internet services. If they could offer internet as well, Oof, they'd have a awesome. fucking thing yeah. on lock. <laughs> like, who the fuck else would fuck with them? Nobody. nobody, yeah, nobody. You know? Nobody. You buy your TV. It's got a built-in gaming system. Your TV channels that you watch and, and internet it's like all in one bundle bam right there you fucking <laughs> bundles always tend to save you money <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> you know one thing i thought about with the dvr being in your xbox the next console right it was rumored if you didn't watch last week's episode the next console for xbox is rumored to have dvr controls in it and a hard you know it's already got hard drives and shit like that what if you can record gameplay 
on your DVR on your console. That would be that cool would be as awesome. fuck, yo. Because it's definitely broken. You know how many yeah, YouTube we'll channels there would be out after that? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think there was enough YouTube channels? Everybody We're going to triple channel. them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that would be cool, right? Because you're buying a console, and it's just going to be like, it's going to be an all-inclusive package. It's like a package yeah. deal. It's going to have everything you could want, things you don't want yet, but you may want later. Mm. I mean, I think the next generation of consoles, I think gaming all together, is just going to get more epic from here on out. Yeah, because they're, I mean, they're it's trying to make it like the total entertainment experience. You know, oh, it's not will. just about oh, gaming will. anymore. It's about entertainment. Mm -hmm. They want you to buy their products to be completely entertained. And, and, and that's the route that they're going, you know. They're going to push all this shit, and like, like since they just said, you know, you might not want it at first. But then when you stop and think about it, like at first when Microsoft said, oh, we're going to put this TV shit in here. I was like, I don't want that shit. Yeah. Xbox Live is going up $10 extra a month, and I got to, you know, I don't even want that. And then you stop <laughs> and think about it. It's only 10 bucks, and now I get to watch TV on my Xbox. Like, yep. it's pretty cool. Yep. It's all really cool. I mean, I think eventually, or at least what they're trying to make, and I think they're, they're really getting close to succeeding, is creating this central hub that your play, your, your not PlayStation, but your console is going to be the center, the 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 you know the heart mm -hmm. of your entertainment center, and um, I think they're coming close to achieving that. I mean, a lot of people just use their Xbox. They got Netflix. They got Hulu. They yeah. got the games. They got the DVD player. It's it's, it's there. Yeah. I mean, it's everything. And what do they call? They don't cost much these days, mm -hmm. you know. So I mean, they're really coming close. The next generation of consoles is going to blow what they already have out of the water. I could. I, I just can't even come. I can't even come to imagine. What we're gonna see as yeah. far as like just all around media. Yeah, because so, I, mean, I mean like you got you got the new dashboard update for Xbox with the you know, prepping for the Windows eight integration. So that's gonna be linked to your PC, you know, you are gonna be running all kinds of services on there. And I might sound like an Xbox fanboy right now. <laughs> you know, like I'm I mean just just from looking at the the two, Microsoft looks like the more prepared one for making, you know, their console the center of your home as far as entertainment goes. Yeah. But you know. what do you think about that? You willing to you what, what, I mean, you, you only got the PlayStation. You filling yeah, in I'm six cycles. He's filling in six cycles seat here today and <laughs> you're the PlayStation fanboy of you know, that's that that's the seat. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, the seat. I am a Sony fan, everything in electronic in my house pretty much Sony. My T V, PlayStation, everything in the there. controllers for your PlayStation? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> TVs in the other bedroom with Sony. Everything's Everything's Sony. Sony so what does Microsoft have to do for the next Xbox for you to go out and, and what, what do they have to do for you to go buy one? For one, make the internet free. Uh, the gameplay, I mean, I don't want to, you know, play, paying for the Xbox Live. I know a lot of people That's do. That's a big problem for you? It's not for me. It's not know? for you? Yeah. It, I mean, it's a barrier for a lot of people. Wow. It's a barrier that for a lot happened. of people. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, PlayStation. My bad. PlayStation, I get on there, I play free, because, you know, I have a four-person family. Four I got a wife, family. I got two kids. Kids are expensive. Kids are. Yeah. I don't daughter, know yet. I'm going to learn soon. Yeah, my daughter goes to dance. That's like, that's a car payment just to go to dance, you know? Oh, my God. Dude. And the less stuff I have to pay for, the better. So, if Xbox were to come out, you know, say, well, here, is Xbox. It's $60 you know, a year. What's 60 bucks a year? Xbox Live. So that's sixty bucks. I'd be spending on something else. That's a game well, hey, a year. PlayStation hey. Three is free. So what's I'm your point? I'm pretty sure you pay that for Monster, right? I made what? You pay that for Monster. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Energy drinks. Yeah. <laughs> this will probably buy more right. than sixty dollars a year worth of enough, energy drinks. Enough on the car. I'm just sixty dollars a month on it. So, so 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 aside from that, say they say they uh, you know enabled a couple other things for you to you know cross that barrier, cross that line. I mean, and they're gonna have more than you know, Halo Three and Gears of War to try to be over there. Yeah. So you like the exclusives on the PlayStation? Yeah, PlayStation. I, I think hands down has better games than Xbox. Oh, it's hands down. Hands I, down. I, as far you as have to agree. Shut up, Xbox fanboy. No. No. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you no. got freaking Gears All right, so thank shit. you for joining no, us yeah. for Startup <laughs> X. <laughs> We're running out of time here. Uh, like I said, if you want to see your gameplay here, we just watched a couple games, uh, <laughs> whatever yeah. they were. Uh, what if you want to see your gameplay right here? Email us, 2 at gmail.com with, you know, let us know that you have it saved in your vault, Startup X labeled, and we'll go grab it. And, hopefully uh, it'll work. Cause, you hopefully know, it'll work, yeah, because it's just Activision, broken. Activision, you suck. Ugh. Yeah, that's just broken. But anyway, guys, you follow us, Twitter, at 2 TV at sick underscore lawless, and at his mama's house, 
I'm at his mama's house. Yo, you're at his mama's house. You can have fun with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he just gave you permission. Never mind. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Lawless. No problem. Thank you, J Rod. No problem. I'm Six Sensei. Thank you for joining us on Startup X episode 20, and we're out. Peace. <laughs>